oppose, oppose a question to you really quick. This uh, Webster, that's a, that's a K9 right there. It's got two horseshoe magnets, one on top of the other one. They're about a quarter inch thick. This is a K8 right here. Uh, not much difference in them, but some. But the reason I got this K8 out was I was looking as the question being on this magneto right here, you see. Do you see anything on this magneto that is not correct? Now, I removed the screw right there on the side. Uh, I'm getting ready to take it apart and go ahead and put a recharge in that magnet right there. So, I was going to remove these two outboard pieces so I could get a pole piece. Remove this band so I could get a pole piece up next to that, that magnet there. And as I was doing that, I think, well, something ain't right right there on that magneto. So if y'all see it, what, 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 uh, what, what the, um, a miss is, uh, leave, uh, just pause the video there, leave a comment, and then come back. Because I'm going to show you what it is. And, and the only reason I got these two off the shelf up there is, is I'm going to need some parts. So what, what I'll do is I'll take this little thing off this. Y'all watch this. You see that little roller there I done put right down there? Okay. That little roller is a miss on this magneto here. It's supposed to have this rollers on this thing and a roller on this thing. So they go right up there. And then that spring wheel a fix into that groove on that roller there as a bushing. So I'll retrieve two off of this parts magneto here. Lucky to have it, you know, saved from days gone by years ago. I laid daddy in, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, uh, noting that the the size of the springs on the magnetos on on this example here and that's a that's a double bar, bar right there same category and this is a double bar and um but but taking in view of all three of these examples you will note that these two has the larger diameter springs return springs here so, uh, as compared to this one. So, at this point, it makes you wonder, ha has these springs been replaced? And with these missing, is the springs the right tension? You know, because these other examples are the larger size. Mm, just saying, well, them, you know, you have to answer, uh, you have to know that and move on. Well, to um, to have the right tool is an asset, and but that's a wood chisel right there, and, and I put it on that way right there, and and, and I, when I did that right there, it works like a little bit of crowbar, pry bar, and. Uh, gets that metal away from that because that right there is uh, this piece of metal is bent that way and that piece of metal down there is bent this way so you have to get them passed straight up and down before they'll come loose but and it seems like that was the perfect tool to do because it was gentle it was gentle with the metal that's brass right there and it it just 
Yeah, I think we'll be able to bend that back because it's a gentle bend and, and crimp it back like it was. But I, maybe you call that a fullering tool. I'm not sure just exactly. But this right here, you, you know, if you're talking brands and everything, I'll probably have a stir it over in the, in the drawer if it was... Oh, that's good right there. So, it's the tool for the job. It says BC 2020. It's got my name on it right there. The dude done already years ago, if you remember, done already blacksmith that chisel. And done put my name on it, sent it to me. And and I've I've, I've had it in the drawer over there, and, and it just come to the occasion today that I would need that chisel to remove this. Uh, it has a little pin in it right there and right there to cover up the center of that laminations. So we'll have to... Uh, Oh, yeah. The reason, and the reason, the reason you have to do this right here is, uh, see, see this, the, the, the magnet itself is, it's not as thick as the housing, so you, you you have to you have to get down there to clean good clean magnet, you know like that. Well, we might as well just clean up the whole thing, you know, as we go. Update on this Webster Magneto. The, uh, that engine at Emerson Brougham. Now, this is for all of the describers out there, you know, kind of just describing the situation. But the engine come in to get it started, you know. Uh, I'm not sure any history on it. That was kind of, uh, that's the way you, this is the way that you have to kind of, it's one one of the ways to, well, Webster Mag. It's a K9 type, meaning it's got two laminations. But the engine came in with, with instruction get started well and uh, two of them was to recharge the magnetos hence this one so i done already started stripping it down there i never did try to start the engine you know i figure if you have to recharge magnetos might as well get it done 
So I done took this off here, and uh, and I had it on the on the bracket there and everything, and and I and I had a nice blue boy. It's a, a really good. If I can describe it to you, have a very good spark. You know, cleaned up the points and everything in there. All that's really good, seems to me. But in order to recharge this magneto, you, you have to take these parts off it and get it down to where you can make contact with a contact. Which, uh, probably the setup would be just about like that right there. On, on the, on the machine over there. All that making good, good contact all the way across down toward the bottom. Well, that's a little better than, uh, well, that's gonna, that's gonna work out just fine. I, I just, I just cut these out. I just made these. That worked fine right there, full coverage. And and that little bit of a little distance there where it's not holding, this wouldn't work because it holds the the metal part away from the you, you would have to you, you would have to go to set up like this, which probably is permissible. But anyways, we the charging is the is the objective. So, as I was getting it stripped down and everything, it, it's come to my attention, and I done had that cover off and looked at it in there. It's all clean and really nice in there. So, but the problem that I, that now that it's been discovered, in order to set the magneto correct, or the... the uh, problem is th this 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 armature in here should be free turning to the extent that the magnet pull onto that rotor where it's made when it comes around there and leaves it it would have more attraction to this well it's not that the, the problem is, is when this, and, and I had kind of observed it a little bit before and kind of wondered about it, but if you look at the back back here, this, this is the trip arm. So it, when that trips up like that, it, over here where your springs would be, let's go of it. So, and then snatches it back. Well, I'm not sure what the problem is, but when that comes up, this ha this is loose. It, it has this much side plate, which if you look at the oil down there, oh, that's a good sixteenth of an inch. It's too much. It's like the it, it's well, the, the reason that I'm with that's a big concern is the spark was intermediate, meaning that sometimes you had that perfectly good spark and then the next time you had no spark whatsoever just say it 